Welcome everybody. Um, this is a continuing uh, information on my Philips uh, Remstar units that I have, two old units. Uh, I understand there's been a recall recently and I've been aware of that. I have an old dream station that is under that uh, recall. I shouldn't say old, a few years. And uh, I use these units for my travel. This is an A-Flex. I also have a C-Flex. The problem is, is when I entered in the serial number here, uh, it told me that the unit was not affected by the recall. And the problem is this. If you, let me get, okay, if you look at the serial number here, it has the serial number, and then it has a space, and then it has four digits, minus 13F5, okay? So with that, uh, what's happening is if you put a space in there in between those numbers, you will not be able to get the re uh, it set up under the recall. It will not come through. So please make sure when you put it in, do not put any spaces in there. The other thing is, is I'm sorry about the glare. Uh, if you use, like, if you look at the serial number here, it starts with P02, I think it's a five. Yeah, P025. So please make sure that that's a zero as a second letter, not a letter O. If it, You can try it both ways, but just make sure that you understand that more than likely it's probably going to be a zero uh, in there, not the letter O. Uh, same thing with at the end, the 13F5. If that's a 13F0, um, it may be. That's probably a zero, not the letter O. I just want to make sure you guys are safe out there and uh, it's predictable. I'm going to show you a problem that I had when I was registering my device. Let me take this out of the holder. Okay, so, oops, sorry about that, here we go. So, <clears throat> if you go to the website, uh, if, you, if you just Google Philips uh, CPAP recall, you should be able to find the site and it'll give you a list of all the different CPAPs that are under recall here. Um, and underneath, you'll see this. I'm sorry, I'm holding it. I'm trying to hold it steady. You choose patient. Then you choose your country. Mine is United States. At the top. There we go. Click next. And then if you enter in a number, which, again, I was entering in mine incorrectly. So let's just enter in a bogus number. Okay, there we go. So that's uh, obviously not a proper serial number, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if I check the unit, it says at the bottom, serial number entered, not affected. It does not say this is not a proper serial number of a Philips Respironics unit. This is a problem in my opinion. This should not say that. It should say you entered it incorrectly. I don't like that. So here are some examples of serial numbers. Uh, the first one being the ones similar to the A-Flex and C-Flex units. And if you see here, it's a P06622742. And then there's a space. Do not enter that space in there. And then it's the letter D. And that looks like an 8, F7. This is why you should really make sure and study your unit. But it's a D, letter B, F7. It's to make sure you get it in there correctly. But my A-Flex and C-Flex units are under recall. I was under the impression that they were not uh, until I called and talked to Phillips. If you want to call and talk to Phillips, you will need to call them. And just so you realize, you will get a hold of a third-party person. Uh, hold on one second, let me pause it. You'll get a hold of a third party person. And what I mean by that is there's a company that they hired or are working with to handle all the recalls of their units. So you will not be talking to Phillips directly. You'll be talking to some representative which will take your information. If you wanna to talk to Phillips directly, you'll have to give them a good reason of why you wanna to talk to them. They'll transfer you to a supervisor, uh, of the same third party, and then that supervisor will make that determination whether they will get you on to Phillips. That's what happened with me. I was able to get through to Phillips directly, spoke with a woman, she was very nice, and uh, 
they she informed me of this i informed them of the issues they have with their website we'll see what happens that may take weeks or months or maybe never happen so please be careful out there everybody from what i understand the recall is happening because the foam is deteriorating in many or enough units that they figure that it's worth a recall uh i find it uh well the the units are deteriorating uh i'm guessing some of it's over age i uh have been told that some of it's from use of the ozone cleaners uh, or activated oxygen cleaners that are out there. Uh, I believe that's what they call them. And uh, I am not a CPAP doctor or a therapist in any way. I'm just an average Joe, but I'm trying to help you out. So please uh, get your information in there, get that resolved. Um, but the problem is that some of the particles are coming off of the um, foam getting into people's lungs. Also, there's a problem of off-gassing when the material degrades. Uh, off-gassing meaning um, that it's possibly pr produce, it's producing or possibly producing a carcinogen that is getting into people's lungs. So these are not units to be taken lightly and just keep using and just ignore. Uh, you need to talk to your particular doctor to find out what he recommends, your CPAP doctor, what he recommends you do um, before you stop using. Uh, although, again, you do what you need, what you find out from a medical professional or take the advice of Phyllis Respironics, Phillips, to uh, stop using it. They've recommended that you stop using it unless advised otherwise by your doctor. Uh, so this is a serious thing. Uh, the, the new machine, which I find suspicious that they released the Dream Station to uh, a week prior, about a week prior to uh, the recall, as far as I can tell. Uh, the new machine came out with a new foam. It's white, not the black foam that has been currently used in these machines for years. And that's not something that just happens overnight. Those tests and trials and everything that they need to go through to get approval by the FDA or whomever they need to go through doesn't happen overnight. And the fact that they decided to change to a white foam, different obviously material, from the black foam that they've been using for years and not have a recall until they've released the Dream Station 2, I find a little suspicious uh, and concerning uh, that they they know that this has been an issue. There's been uh, people out there who've pointed out that there's material breaking down and, um, and they found it in their, either in their humidifier or other ways that the material's been breaking down in this Recall just happened just coincidentally right after they released their Dream Station 2. So, everybody, please be safe out there. Uh, if you have an old unit, maybe a different brand, for example, a Rims, I'm sorry, a ResMed or a Fisher Pickell or some other old unit that's not under the recall, uh, consider using that. Try and getting it set up to use that so you have a good night's sleep. Uh, but check with your medical professionals. I'm not trying to give you any advice out there. I'm just trying to inform you and give you a better shot of getting it recalled and having a better night's sleep. Take care, everybody. Thank you.